That line. Gucci don't like black people. I don't know why y'all in that line. Y'all stupid as Gucci don't like black people. Y'all still in the line. Y'all stupid as a Stupid as a at all, y'all. Take a selfie right, bro, bro. I'm in a rush, bro. I ain't put that picture shit. Hey. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. <laughs> wait, wait. No, 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 no. I'm going to shake it. Look, man. Yo, good looking, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was just telling them that Gucci don't like black people. Brandon Rucci. You got thick. I got a No, you wasn't. That was not <laughs> when I first met you. How you been, even I? Like black people. Ooh, Rennie Roots, girl. You done got thick, for real. You wasn't that damn thick. Now, nah, hey, man, look here. Boosie was walking through Lennox Mall. It looked like in Atlanta. I don't know for sure what mall. I'm just going to guess and say it. It don't really matter what mall it was in. I'm going to just guess Lennox Mall in Atlanta. But uh, niggas was camped out waiting in line outside the Gucci store. And really, that's been going on lately. Where they got the people outside the stores because of the corona thing going around and shit. They limited how many people can be in there. But Boosie walked by. It's like, hey, man, y'all niggas know Gucci don't like black people. Y'all stupid as a motherfucker, still spending money with them. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you don't remember, this was a big issue last year once Gucci came out with the blackface. You know what I'm saying? They had the blackface cover. And for some reason, black people just could not denounce Gucci. You understand what I'm saying? We could not just write Gucci off. I will be honest with you. I'm black. I'm a part of this. I'm not pointing the fingers at nobody. Black people as a whole... We have a problem canceling certain things we know don't fuck with us, especially if it's seen as valuable and seen as something that can separate and put you apart from other people. Basically, when you go in the store and you cop Gucci, yeah, it's clothes. You don't need clothes to survive. You need clothes to wear, but it don't got to be Gucci. It's basically like a bragging statement. It's a fashion statement. It's basically a statement of stunning. Hey, nigga, I can afford to have on high-end clothes and Italian cut clothes and Italian cut shoes or the latest trend or streetwear from these brands. You know what I'm saying? Gucci, Louis Vuitton, uh, Christian Dior, uh, Balenciaga, all the motherfuckers that niggas is dripping out Chanel. Niggas look at it like this, man. Putting this on, I'm separating myself from the average person, which is why it is so hard for niggas to just say, you know what? Fuck Gucci or fuck any of them because... If you say fuck Gucci, Gucci pretty much own, and these brands are really all owned by like the same motherfuckers. I don't know the exact breakdown of it, but that's why niggas will not let Gucci and none of these brands go. Just like with Off White. Off White was just in the news because one of the faces of Off White is one of our own with Virgil Abloh, and niggas didn't like his reaction to the riots or what he donated. And then the picture starts circulating of him and his family, and his whole family was uh, Caucasian. And then um, it just was a weird-ass picture that I saw. But other than that, man, like, niggas is looking at that shit like, hey, you know, they going to complain about it, but nobody's truly going to boycott because of that high price. If you able to come out with something, make it expensive, and make people feel like they need to buy it, you here to stay. You know what I'm saying? That's just what it is. Now, let's be clear here. If Gucci was a brand that sold shirts for $30 or $25 and they put their racist shit out, they would be over with. Niggas would be cool with canceling that. But some, even rappers, some rappers was honest. They was going to chill out on wearing Gucci, but they was not going to quit wearing it. And they didn't give a fuck. Remember, Burberry came out with a noose right after that. Right after that, Burberry had a, somebody at a fashion show with a noose on their fucking neck. Now, these are things that can be Googled. Y'all can look them up. I'm not finna look them up. We already know what they is. Go look them up. You know what I'm saying? Clear, direct racism, clean cut, no matter how you slice up the pie. So, like I say, I'm even one in myself who probably spends money with racists. So, I'm not finna go down line and judge these people who are in line waiting. But my supporters want to know how I feel about it. I'm telling you what it is. If Gucci was cheap, niggas wouldn't have no problem cutting it off. They'd be like, okay, fuck that cheap ass shit. But nah, niggas is looking at it like this is status. This makes me feel lit. 
This makes me feel like I'm one of them niggas getting their bag and everybody can't have this. Nigga, fuck y'all. If they said it, we still wearing Gucci. It is what it is. Now, I did hear that Gucci is supposed to give Gucci Mane his own um, line or collection out of Gucci. So, we're going to see how that happens. They did put Dapper Dan in place. They made a few steps, but... We all know, man, it's all about the green. They don't give a fuck about niggas, just being honest with you. They arrested Dapper Dan for creating Gucci back in the day, for uh, making the Gucci and remaking the, the shit where niggas could wear it, like basically stuff that the streets would wear. And they arrested him for this back in the day for buying their print and then making shit that street niggas and trap niggas and athletes would wear. And then now, guess what? They do it on their own, and then they give him a cut. That's how the game works, man. Subscribe to the channel, Urban Politician TV 1000.